What's going on, Little Dap? It's Jared Montz, former pro and founder of OnlineSoccerAcademy.com. Today, I'm telling you a story on why you should never give up on a play and how a little moment can define a season. Now, before we get into the story, I want to give a shout out to Katie Howard. She's an OSA player from Kentucky. She just messaged me in her, uh, from her OSA profile today telling me she's been using the OSA for three years now. And um, she went from a uh, substitute on a rec team to a starter as a freshman on one of the top high school teams in the state of Kentucky. And she was just so thankful and I just want to say I'm really proud of her. She's a believe in an athlete and I say it all the time. Small improvements daily equal big improvements over time and Katie is a perfect example of that. Congrats Katie. Everyone tell her little daps in the comments. Little dap in the comments. Alright, so back to the story. We've been doing a lot of these stories, everyone seems to love them, so kick your feet up, uh, grab a Gatorade and just relax a little bit. Um, but the scene was 2003 in South Florida, Boca Raton, Florida. I was playing for my college team, Lynn University, and we were playing our big rival, uh, Barry University. It makes me sick just to say their name. <laughs> um, but we were, we were playing our big rival, we were playing at home, sunny outside, blue sky, 70 degrees, the grass was green as could be, cut short, perfect, balls rolling good. Um, we were playing a big game, big game. We, we, were, uh, we were undefeated up to this point, and the game's going really well. We're playing good, and we're 2-1 we're up, and um, I don't know, a bunch of calls are starting to go against us. The, the ref's making some bad calls. It, it seems like things just aren't going our way all of a sudden, even though we're winning 2-1. And um, there was this play where the ball had gotten like kick, kicked back or passed back to our goalie. And I just remember my gut instinct said, you need to get back. You need to run back. Because there was a forward chasing down our goalie. And I just thought, you need to get back. And I, out of the corner of my eye, I could see the other defenders on my team. Um, I, I played midfield as a pro, but in college I played right back. Um, and... I could see the other defenders on my team. They just they just stopped because they thought the goalie was going to get it, and he should have gotten it. The ball was just played right to him. He should have just kicked it out. But for some reason, I just had this gut feeling, get back, and I just whoosh, took off. I'm chasing down the forward. The goalie's coming out, and sure enough, right when our goalie was about to kick it, that perfect field had one little bump in it. Boop. Ball pops up, goes right over my goalie's foot. He takes a massive whiff, and you see the you see the forward just kind of like, like brace to get kicked, and then he realizes the ball's in front of him, and I'm about to run by him, and I see his eyes just light up like, here we go, I'm gonna score a goal here, and whew, I just took off right by him, took a touch to the side, kicked it out, passed it out. I don't remember. All I know is, uh, I definitely made the right choice of hustling back and not quitting on that play. And it saved us the game. Uh, we won 2-1, I believe. Um, and yeah, you know, I didn't get an assist. It didn't go down as a goal. But I tell you what, when I was sitting in the ice tub later on in my dorm room, I had nothing but a big smile on my face because a little moment like that can define a season. And we went on to go undefeated, and we won a national championship that year. Obviously, it was a lot more than that one play. But little plays like that make a big difference in the grand scheme of things. So that's the story. Hope you enjoyed it. And remember, little moments like that define a season. Don't ever quit on a play. Believe in it!